Yo, what's good everyone, Monmouth here, and I'm going to be taking on Misty in Radical Red today. I'm trying a slightly different recording setup due to some feedback I've gotten on my videos. We'll see if this is a little bit better. So, this is against Misty. She leads with a Frogadier, so I'm leading with a Max Speed Voltorb. It has a pretty poor, uh, it has a naive nature thankfully, but it also has a pretty poor speed IV. So I'm not 100% sure if Wise Glass's Electro Ball is going to take out the Frogadier in one hit, but I think it's going to do a lot of damage. And then moving on, uh, I, I caught this, I actually hatched this in Cerulean City, you can see. Um, uh, because I decided to just take the egg, because late, realistically, in the late game, uh, I don't think Greninja is necessary at all, like, Battle Bond is cool for Blaine, but there's so many other anti-Blaine strategies you can use. Um, obviously it would be Battle Bond and Rain, uh, and if you have Rain, there's so many things you can use against Blaine that just completely stomp in his mouth. And then, moving on, we have Bold Lantern. Um, with Bubble Beam, Electro Ball, Thunder Wave, and Confuse Ray. This is kind of my combination check, like a backup Frogadier check. It also handles uh, Floatzel and Starmie to different extents. It's just really bulky, really fat, really good. Uh, this Clefable is literally just here to like soak up damage, Encore, Teleport, Pivot, etc. Don't think it's going to be coming out. Cherim is here as a sunny day uh, mon. It's only going to be used to check like Floatzel, or actually I think it has a Yachi Berry, yeah. So it's both Floatzel and uh, Starmie actually. And it has a Quiet Nature, which isn't great, but it's fine. And then Timid Compound Eyes Butterfree is just going to be there to take out a paralyzed Starmie if I need it, and then Gyarados is like my full picture. So, let's kick this off. This battle off. I think I should be pretty fine because, I mean, it may not KO in one hit, but A, I don't give a crap if the whole club dies, and B, even if it doesn't, this frog is going to take a ton of damage. So let's see this. Okay, okay. Ooh, Frogdeer just barely lived that. And it's Protean Ice punching me. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Ooh, okay, good. Now, I think that... Yeah, okay, so this is 100% accurate charge beam. So I'm just gonna fire it off to get a guaranteed kill here. I'm gonna be switching out Voltorb anyways. I just want to use charge beam. Um, what's coming in next? Okay, Floatzel is probably coming in to get a kill with Fake Out. So I'm gonna go in with Cherim really quickly. Okay. Now that does a fair bit. Um, I'm gonna Magical Leaf this one. Because I don't think Petal Dancing being left at 29 and then trying to take on Stalin is a very good idea. So I'm just going to Magical Leaf for some damage, and then I'm going to switch out into Gyarados. On a Swift. Hmm. And now here, this should be in KO Ranger Bite. Okay, perfect. And then Gyarados. Ooh, that is not a Hair Ranger fight. Okay, so I'm gonna have to proc my Citrus Berry. And I don't think that a crit from Starmie should kill Gyarados from 55. This Gyarados has a fair amount of HP, I believe. And even, um... Hmm. Actually, what I'm gonna do here is... Let's see if I have any pivots I can make. I should have probably put Houndoom over Clefable as a pivot, uh, so I can go into it on Psybeam, so that was a bit of a misplay. Yeah, huge misplay actually, but it's fine. I do have a Houndoom in the box, is what I was saying. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go into Lantern here on Psybeam. It's gonna smart quite a bit, but I wanna play safe and I don't wanna lose a Gyarados to a crit. And that doesn't do anything, so. So I'm gonna Thunder Wave here. Now that everything's fainted. Alright. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna Electro Ball one. This should do a KO. And if it confuses me, I can just pivot out very easily. Okay. That heals it out of range, but it gets paralyzed, so pretty lucky there. Though I think I was safe either way because I had a Butterfree at full health to come in on a Psybeam. Um no, I also had a Cliff Fable, like <laughs> I was nowhere near in, in danger. Alright. And that's the Starmie down. A really good fight, so yeah. My advice for this fight in general, get your Gyarados, get your Lantern. Two most important encounters for this fight. With those two, you can pretty much always outplay this fight. The Gyarados destroys Floatzel and also gives a buffer against Starmie. And uh, Lantern is a great Starmie check. And you can also do some strategies where I didn't get to show it off there. But if you don't have anything that can immediately outspeed and KO Greninja, like my Voltorb, then you can Thunder Wave the Starmie, and then Thunder Wave again on the switch to Frogadier, and invest enough speed into Lantern so that it so that Electro Ball kills the half speed Frogadier. Uh, and I think that's another really good reason why Lantern is great in this fight. But otherwise, lead with something that can. Uh, that baits a non-flip turn move from Frogadier and Oko's it back, or something like Voltorb that just outspeeds and KOs it. Well, I didn't KO, but you get the idea. And then uh, a very another good, really good thing to have in this fight that I didn't bring is a Dark-type pivot for Starmie, so that you can go into in it on Psybeams, and then switch back into like lantern on water moves. So if it's like you you knock out floats with Gyarados like I did, you can switch into Houndoom on the side beam and then back to lantern on the bubble beam to preserve its HP. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video informative. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day.